Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition number 66, Pilsner Urkel Revisited. This is the original Pilsner beer, started in 1842 in what at that time was the Kingdom of Bohemia, which was part of the Austrian Empire, which was part of the German Confederation. The modern Czech Republic didn't start until 1918. So this was a German beer, and actually lots of the Czech area, the outer rim of the Czech area, was always traditionally German people, okay? So anyway, this is 4.4% alcohol. It has been since acquired by S.A.B. Miller, but they claim they still brew it according to the old Pilsen recipe. And that's what Pilsner Urkel means, the original Pilsner. Green bottle, well, I can't do anything about that. Bought this at Martin Wine Cellar. Um, it gets a good score on Beer Advocate. The bros say it's okay. 73 out of 100 on Rape Beer, 96 out of 100 for the style now. So within that Pilsner style, it's very highly regarded. And a very fine score on the Beer and Me. I've had this a few times before and I thought it was good. So let's check it out. I saw a little bit of smoke. I'll say this much. It's a beautiful bottle. I think. The green with the gold and the little wax stamp. Of course it's not wax now. It's just a reproduction of that. Uh, and this is brewed in Pilsen, Czechia. Oh, it's a medium, uh, a medium white head in a clear golden appearance with a few bubble streams. It's not a lot, a whole, a whole lot of bubble stream, but beautiful golden beer. And this is supposed to personify Pilsner beer. The aroma, a sharp grassy hoppiness. Okay, that's what you, you often or almost always get with these traditional or authentic Pilsner beer is that grassy hop bitterness. In the biscuity barley malt, the lightly roasted barley malt. And this is why Pilsner beer revolutionized the world because the beer, the beer, the, beer, the world of beer because now what do we have on the scene in Europe and quickly to spread to America? Light bodied easy drinking beers with relatively low alcohol 4.4 percent we get that lightly roasted barley malt that cracker that nice grassy hop bitterness to round it out it's a lot hoppier than your american lager beers now of course in america they started cutting uh, the beers with rice and corn but this is brewed without any of that. It's brewed with just barley malt, water, hops, and yeast. So light and watery mouthfeel. The finish is crisp, clean, refreshing, dry, and the drinkability is superb in every way. Well, I suppose you'll pay about eight or nine dollars for a six pack but I think you'd be very satisfied. And I've had this on draft, and it's wonderful on draft as well. So, I thought the Stauro Promen was a little bit better. I thought that was one of the best beers I'd ever tasted of any style. Now, for a lager beer, a Pilsner lager beer, how would this be rated high, very, very high, I think the lowest score you could possibly give it, to be fair, if you were being fair and open-minded, would be an A, a most excellent beer, a most excellent beer. Now, how does this, but I would say it's probably an A-plus for Pilsner, okay, an A-plus. Well, they say Miller Lite is a fine Pilsner beer. Well, believe me, Miller Lite could never compare to this. But that's so different, really. 
how does this compare to beer overall in the world across the styles? I think it goes, it competes, it competes very well across the style. Not only would this win a gold medal in the Pilsner style, I think it could win best in show. I really think this could win best in show. It's a wonderful, most excellent beer, A all the way, and you could argue and make a strong argument that it's an A plus, so, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of good carbonation there. Les Les Bon Temps Roulé. This is a wonderful, delicious beer, and I recommend it in the strongest possible way. And it's a 12 ounce bottle, not 11.2. And y'all, I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans.